Last week, I announced to you guys that I'm going pro, which means full-time tennis. So let's take a look at what my daily routine as a pro now looks like. I'll start every day with the same routine, which includes weighing myself, drinking some water with some halo and some creatine in it to help my gains and hydration. I'll then whip out the mat to do 15 to 20 minutes of mobility work, working the key areas like the hamstrings, the quads, the glutes, and I'll also do some foam rolling in there for my calves, just to make sure that I'm keeping that range of motion in my ankles, which is super important for tennis players. Stretching in the morning done, usually around 15, 20 minutes, gets the day off to a good start, and makes you feel good in the morning. Uh, next step is breakfast. For breakfast, I'll always make protein oats, which looks like this. Right guys, so this is usually the time where I'll eat my breakfast, which you've just seen, and drink my coffee, which is much needed in the mornings. And I watch some of the US Open High highlights from last night. This morning I'm going to watch Alcraz and TFO, just a few of the highlights, get some inspiration for the day and that's going to keep me entertained while I eat. And then it was time to head to the gym. Started off the gym session with a light work on the bike. I then did a physical warm up and some injury prevention exercises and then got ready for my upper body session. If you want to find out in detail everything I do in terms of SNC and everything I'd recommend to tennis players, go and join our YouTube memberships. That's what the latest members video is about. Right guys, so I'm now back from the gym. I've got myself some lunch. I've got some pomegranate, which is great as a kind of fruit, tastes really good. And I've also got a salmon poke bowl, which I picked up on the way back from the gym. While I'm eating this stuff, I'm just gonna be watching YouTube, chilling, taking you know, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to myself to eat. And then I'm gonna get cracking on my laptop with some YouTube work, either brainstorming, video editing, organizing with brands, sponsors, all of that type of stuff. I showed you in my first episode of my kind of day in the life, how much video editing I could actually get done in one hour. And so I decided to give it another go. So in the last hour, I've managed to edit one minute and 24 seconds worth of the video. This video is actually a members video so if you're a YouTube channel member, you can watch this video. It's all about strength and conditioning. And also, as you can see, these videos take a really long time to produce. So if you haven't already, go down there, click that subscribe button. It really helps out to make these videos possible. Thank you. Let's carry on with the day. After lunch, it was time to see my physio, Keelan, who you guys have seen before. We started the session off by testing the rotation of my shoulders, as well as my hands behind my back. I also did some work on testing my calves. So by jumping up and down, jumping and bounding across the room, as well as the calf strength. So how many calf raises I can do. And then finally, balance to see how good my balance is on single leg and also with my eyes open and my eyes closed. Keelan then got to work doing a manual release on my back, also working on my Achilles tendon and calf to try and loosen it up and get some more range of motion in those joints. We finally retested my shoulder rotation, which was much, much better at the end, as well as the behind the back movements on the right and the left side. We also finished by testing my calf range of motion. I think you're pretty much there, Felix. After that, it was time to head straight to my only tennis session of the day. I'm trying to go for an hour and a half, but keep a really high intensity at the moment. As you can see, we're playing on these fast indoor hard courts, which I haven't played for in a while as I've been playing on the clay courts, but I was enjoying being back. This is one of the first sessions on these fast hard courts. I have to do so many more little steps, it's so tough. My aim at the beginning of the session was just to stay intense, stay low, find a rhythm on my shots and really try and find a groove on these courts. I was really enjoying striking the ball. I think I was pinning it really well and I was feeling nice and fluid, especially after having that release in the physio session with Keelan. For this session, we were focusing on the basics, like I said, trying to find a rhythm. This was one of the forehand cross rallies, which was probably the best rally of the entire session. As you can see, my main aim here is to keep good depth and hit the ball with good force. I know that at the highest level, most of the players are hitting the ball really hard. So I'd rather be able to build consistency within a forceful way, which basically means getting really good depth at least in the final third of the court, so aiming towards the baseline with good power and good consistency. Our practice partner today was a friend of mine, Ivan. He's around 1,200, 1,300 in the world for singles and top 1,000 ATP for doubles. So a really high level player and was really good to get a practice in with him. We also did some stuff on the backhand. I've changed my techniques slightly to try and get a bit more depth. And here I'm talking to my coach about the changes that I've made. I definitely think it's a big improvement and I'm working really hard to implement that into my game. I then warmed up some volleys in preparation for a few ground stroke points. I wasn't serving yet just because I was taking a little bit of a break from serving and didn't want to rush straight back in. Maybe the boost of getting four ATP points was boosting my confidence. And as you can see here, the reactions and just about missing that shot. We then moved to some open points, so feed cross, hit cross, and play. I was looking to be aggressive, but also not fearing missing. 
So just trying to play some really consistent tennis, trying to go for depth, and yeah, just enjoying kind of competing against a really strong opponent. After we've done some out the hand points, we moved to some specific drills. I would basically feed Ivan a ball through the middle where it was reasonably short. He'd then have an opportunity to take the ball forwards and attack to one corner. For example, here, he's attacking to the forehand side. Then it's my job to defend and basically try and win the point. We then did the same thing on the backhand side. My aim here was just to get the ball low. He did a really good job there on that volley by basically working from a defensive position whilst he's on the offensive. And that sums up the end of the session. A super intense practice. I really enjoyed myself. I think I was able to act on a few tactical things and obviously my backhand was still improving. After the session, went to the changing rooms, got changed and then did a five minute spin cool down on the bike just to make sure I wasn't going from exercising to resting too quickly for five minutes and then did some static stretching to help me recover from the full day of training. I went to bed around 10 p.m. to then start the next morning at around 7 p.m. to make sure that I'm getting a full nine hours sleep. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Check out all of the sponsors. Their links are down below who are helping me support my journey. And I'll see you guys in the next video.